What's happening, everybody? Um, so, it's been quite a while since I did a video. Um, happy holidays. Hope everybody had a wonderful holiday. Christmas, New Year, all that stuff. Um, the old Cherokee had a few issues with it. Um, not to get into a whole long story of what happened, but basically I was headed out 80 West in Pennsylvania and I blew an upper radiator hose right below, like right under here, the hose blew. And it dumped all the coolant out. And being that this Cherokee has the idiot lights instead of numbered gauges, it has idiot lights. And I don't have any way to see what the temperature is. By the time it was too hot and too late, um, it popped the head gasket. And I was stuck on the side of the road and blah, blah, blah. And I put a new, uh, put a new hose on it. And it was just a head gasket with shots. So I limped it home. I limped it halfway home and I had it flat bedded the rest of the way home. And uh, then I sent the, I took the head apart. I took the motor apart, the top end apart. And I took the head off it. And I found out, I brought it to the machine shop and the head was warped and it was really cracked. It was, it was cracked in multiple spots, the head. Uh, the head, the gasket blew in the back cylinder. Um, so in the back, the crack was like back there somewhere, like all the way in the back somewhere. But uh, the head was junk, the stock head was junk. So I, I picked up this uh, this head that's on here is from, it's a Promax head. And I picked it up from Summit Racing. And I'm not gonna disclose how much I paid for it. It's a lot more than I wanted to pay for it at the time, but I didn't have a choice. Um, I didn't want to do any other thing but a new head for this truck because this motor only has 70,000 miles on it. So I didn't want to put a used head on it and risk having issues with that head, even after a machine shop. I don't trust that. So I bought a new head. Um, it's been going good. The head's been fine. The motor's running uh, perfectly fine. Um, I changed all the hoses, like this new upper hose. I got these silicone uh, radiator hoses. The bottom hose is brand new. Uh, put a new belt on it. This is the heavy duty uh, belt that they have. Um, but the motor's good. Motor's all good. It's back to normal. Um, I'd like to do something with the. I know my my fan shroud's kind of like. Yeah, it's like kind of missing something right there. Um, I had to chop it up because the clutch that I have is a Grand Cherokee. A Grand, a Grand Cherokee. Yeah, okay. Uh, it's my first time talking today. It's a Grand Cherokee clutch. Uh, the 27 something, 2730, I think it is. Um, and that clutch is too wide. That's, I call, I call it the, the snout. I don't know what the proper terminology is for it, but the, uh, the snout, I don't know if I can get a shot of it. That right there that distance right there so that basically the the clutch sits closer to my mishimoto radiator and i'm having problems with a shroud i had to chop up this shroud like a lot and i love i love that clutch that grand cherokee clutch i really like it a lot it blows a massive amount of air on the motor and that's what four liters lack. That stock fan clutch just doesn't blow enough air on these motors that they need. So this Grand Cherokee fan clutch is real nice. It steps it up a notch and blows the proper amount of air that it should be blowing on it. And it does a really good job. It does a really good job. But it sits too close to my radiator and I kind of don't like it. So I got to figure something out. I have another fan clutch right there. I have another fan clutch. This is a uh, this is a Cherokee fan clutch. So this this right here is shorter than the one that's on there. So this will fit on there like really really nice. This is a heavy duty. This is a Hayden uh, heavy duty fan clutch for a Cherokee. Well, that's a nice fan clutch right there. So that's just as tight as the stock one, which is going to put me back to square one, but. Unless I make unless I make my own fan shroud, which I'm probably uh, I'm thinking about, I'm not probably going to do it. I'm I'm thinking about it. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to make a quick video. Cherokee's doing okay. Just try to maintain it and 
get it through the winter. Um, I still got, after all my upgrades that I did with the head and stuff, the hoses, the head, um, I put my, my good, this, this thermostat housing is from my 94. And the name of the company that made this is Turbo City. It's a high flow thermostat housing and Turbo City does not make these anymore, which really sucks because um, this is a really good fan. It's a really good thermostat housing. It's Hesco has a high flow thermostat housing, but I think this one has opened up a little bit more. Plus I did additional work to this and smoothing out some of the uh, radiuses inside. So this one has some extra work done to it. And my, the, I have a flow cool, high flow 180 thermostat in here too. And my temperature right now stays between 179 and 185. It just fluctuates right back and forth between uh, them numbers, which I'm pretty happy with. The, the water pump's gotta get changed. That's just a stock water pump. It's the original water pump from this truck. That's the original water pump. At 70,000 miles, I don't trust that water pump at all. Um, I have another water pump for it, which is right here. That is a Hesco high flow water pump, which is the exact same water pump as I have on the 94. And that water pump, the Hesco high flow water pump that's, that's on my 94 has been on that truck for 14 years. It's been on that truck for 14 years. And hang on one second. It's been on that truck for 14 years and I've had this truck in 100 degree plus. I've had it in 116 degree Arizona heat and never skipped a beat at all with this cooling system was rock solid on that truck. I'm just trying to duplicate that cooling system from this truck on my 98 and it's it's getting there so the hesco high flow water pump i i favor the hesco high flow water pump over the flow cool high flow water pump i have both i have the flow cool actually right there and i have my hesco one is right in that box right there and i got the hesco one very cheap second hand it's, it's brand new but somebody didn't want it so they sold it to me for extremely low price that's the only reason I got the, the high the uh, the flow cool one, but the uh, Hesco one is definitely going on my my white '98 Cherokee because I like it a lot and it's proven that it works. So that's the only other thing I got to do to the cooling system to get it to get it up to where I want it is change the water pump and then it'll be good. But the motor's good. The motor's rock solid. It's been it's been running pretty good. I have no complaints. Um, I have no complaints with it. I'm just trying to maintain it. Um, you know, man, just keep up to date with the maintenance, oil, and, and all that stuff, you know. Uh, put a fresh battery in it. That's about it. Um, I just wanted to make a quick video. Just give you a little update. Um, it's still around. I got big plans for this truck. Hopefully during the winter. Um, I get a lot of overtime in the winter at my work. So I'm hoping I can save up enough money for the winter to start uh, gathering up some some of the suspension parts that I want to get for this. Um, I'm going to use some of the stuff out of my 94, the three link, the pro series, excuse me, the Clayton three series pro link, the arms I'm going to use out of my 94. Um, the top upper link mount on the axle, I'm going to get new because Clayton, uh, this is just a bridge that goes over the center section on my 94. The new design is a bridge and a truss also. It's all one, and it's a big truss that goes across the whole axle. So that's what's going on this. And uh, you know that the the, uh, the cross member, uh, the old cross member that's on a '94 is 14 years old, and Clayton just updated the design, and made it a little better. So I'm going to get a new cross member for this. You know, just a, a couple of things, new coils. The coils on this, the stated inch coils on this are like they're 14 years old. So. You know, they're not sagged or anything, but they're 14 years old, so I'd rather put fresh coils in this. I'd rather start fresh on this, but use my good parts out of my 94, you know what I mean? But this thing is going to have, uh, it's, it's going to be badass when it's done, it really is. Uh, I'm not giving away anything. I'm not giving away anything more than I'm doing to this. I want it to be a surprise. 
and get a nice good video out of it of that final like reveal you know what i mean so anyway um it is what it is jerky's doing good i'm doing good everything's awesome um garage is freaking packed into no end i got motorcycles i got two motorcycles in the front i got i got one here one there it's just packed in the 94 is all packed in with the, the back of it i gotta keep it's like my workbench the back of my 94 is like my workbench right now i keep my tools and um my 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 shelf over here i got i got loaded with like it's it's loaded with stuff that i gotta do to, i got a gauge pack the a pillar gauge pack for it with auto meter gauges water temp trans temp you know the one that goes on the a pillar that that mounts on the a pillar uh, i gotta want to put that in you know i got just a whole bunch of shit i got i got my i got leaf snare i got bilstein shots spacers a whole bunch of shit i got i got plans i got stuff all stashed away <laughs> um just waiting waiting to go in this thing it's just cold it's like 35 degrees 36 degrees today and i want to wait until the winter. i can't stand working in the winter and in cold weather outside on stuff if i have to i will that's that's not you know i will if i have to but i don't have to so i'm not going to work in the cold and i can't pull i wish i could pull in the garage but i can't so anyway hope everybody's having a good day and uh that's about it see you guys